is good you all today i'm gonna be breaking down a glaive type beat it's pretty much a hyper pop type beat with like acoustic guitar and like hard drums and i'm gonna go through the whole process of making this beat check out Sion spark he use a lot of his stuff drums make sure to check out his drum kits we're gonna leave all his infos down in the description below so make sure to check him out so i was thinking of uh, making a beat from scratch but i decided to break down an already existing one instead and i can explain a lot more this way so make sure to follow through and yeah let's jump straight into it so i started off with this loop it's from nash he's a internet money member and i got this guitar loop from one of his kits and yeah this is how it sounds So I usually start off with arranging the loop, uh, I got the stems from the loop and I try to make a little arrangement, as you can see later on more of the stems come in. So I'm gonna go over and show you the intro, I got this first pattern with these drums right here, and basically this pattern has like real sounding drums. Because these type of beats usually start off with like real sounding instruments and drum loops so I decided to make my own one and this is how it sounds I started off with the snares then I move on to the kicks then I laid down this pretty simple hi-hat pattern And that's pretty much it. Then I added this drum loop from one of CM Sparks kit and this is how it sounds together. And yeah, I think with the loop it sounds pretty good and uplifting and yeah, it just gives to the whole beat. Try to make it like it's an EDM song and you're trying to make a good build up for the drop and especially with these hyper pop drops you want them to sound as hard as you can and to make it sound the hardest you have to make a really good build up for that. So before the drop I have this fill right here. So then I have this little riser and I have this little trick to Reverse, as you can see it's a kick sample and I love to reverse these sounds. It's a really cool way to introduce your drop. And then let's move on to the drop. Uh, I started off with this snare. As you can hear it's a pretty hard snare and this is the usual pattern. Then I moved on to the 808s and, and you must use these really hard hitting 808s and this is not really an 808, it's more like a bass, uh, like out of serum you can use really good serum presets. This one was a one shot from also Serum Spark. And yeah, what I usually do is try to find like a main part of the loop 
You can use the base stem if you want to and it's easier to find the key of the 8th weights to where to put them, the root notes and yeah that's pretty much what I did and this is how the 8th weight pattern sounds. It's nothing crazy, I, I put a slide right here and how you can do that is double click your note and click this icon right here and it's gonna slide from the note so it's gonna slide from E to A right here and I added these rows in here and the way you can do that is select your note press Alt U to bring up this chopper tool and you can play around with these with this knob right here and yeah you just have to fade it in like this with the velocities that way you have a little transition to the next 8 to 8 then I added these kicks it basically follows the 8 to 8 notes nothing special and then I have this hi-hat Yeah, sound selection is really important in order to make like really good hyperpop beat. You have to think a little out of the box to make these kind of beats, but once you get the taste of it, you know what drums to choose. And I have this little perk right here. So now I'm gonna show you why did I cut these stems right here. As you can see, I cut these parts where whenever a snare hit and I made it come back when the 8 way started to hit again. And yeah, it's nothing crazy, you just have to listen to the bounce and it's gonna give even more bounce to your whole beat. And it's a little trick to make it sound a little more and not just bring in the drums and let it play, you know what I mean. And yeah, this is an EQ automation, so whenever the drums hit, I have this EQ come in at like 200 Hz and it basically makes room for the 8 to to even hit harder and I have these transitions as you can see it's nothing special and yeah that's pretty much it for the video so if you want me to do one of these from scratch or even make some more complicated ones let me know in the comments below check out Sian Spark he was a big inspiration in, in my phase of doing these kind of beats so yeah shout out to him and yeah stay looped in and see you soon Peace.